Um, okay, back doing another Fat Finger demo. Um, I hope you like the new thumbnail. Uh, what I want to talk about today is doing, is making Git uh, a bit more, uh, what you call it, um, faster to use. My Git is really great, but sometimes the if you want to do commits quickly, it can take some time. And to see what's going on can take some time popping up other buffers or whatever. So let's get into here. Yeah, okay. And we're talking about my git we've done. First thing we want to do is sit about getting live git info. Um, let's make this a bit. And let's get our and command log mode. Okay, so um, there is a nice package that will show you in the on the side. And there's uh, things a uh, fringe, and there is a gutter. Um, what I think Mike Zemanski showed a, a, uh, a video using the gutter, but I like to use something which is called uh, diff el. Okay, now we've got these things back working again. We'll set up the configure later. And let's just Get this thing running for now. Now we're going to install it. Yep, let's save that guy. Yeah, now what that installed is a package um, diff hl, which shows on, I said before, show the site. So let's see. Okay, so it also shows things where you can jump between the hunks, but let's get it started. So. First thing, since we're in a terminal, it's not going to work with regular diff. Oh, hold. See, it's not really showing anything here because we don't have the fringe, which we will have in a regular GUI. And like I said, I would like to have everything to work also in the in the command line, like it word. So there is a diff. Uh, what is it? margin mode and you see on the side now it's showing us lines that have been changed which is very helpful now you can change them and um, if, if I added a new line here well, it doesn't have live updates All right see these are all new lines uh, there and it's not live update. So there is another thing which is diff hl fly and it should have yeah. See now it's updating live whenever we have anything done. Okay, let's turn those both off and five oh. diff hl. And let's also turn off the FHL margin. Okay. Uh, so now we want to have this thing running whenever we whenever we start. And how are we going to do this? And um, there is, we will add a hook. We can just actually we can just turn on the, the global FHL mode. And there's also a problem with Magit that you need to add a hook so that anytime that Magit so that when Magit refreshes, it, it should update our yeah. okay. Um this is not gonna work for us because we were in the terminal, but let's get let's just run that. And we can do an config we can do if uh, 
Okay. Um, let's see what I can remember. There's a way to check if we are in... If we are running in the um, command line or not. Display graphics speed. If I do, I should get all my okay. Now, if we're using Cray Graphics P, we want to do no, we want unless, unless we want to run is diff. L. Hmm, Squid does not. Margin mode. What was it? HL margin mode. I don't know why that didn't. Okay, so let's get that and then we should do it. Yeah, okay, so we got that, so how do we get it? Uh, let's see that. And now we should. Weird. Let's see why this isn't working. I should have my nice gray graphics please, so so that should work. Wonder if there's a global mode that needs to be set for that. Let's see. Yeah, so we could Function if uh, was it global if gel mod? No. So hopefully that should that should work. Ah, do you know what? I don't know why that didn't work. Let's try. What we could do is add this to a hook every time that we open up a coding buffer. Well, I think this is this is this should be fine. I don't know why it didn't work before, but yeah, when we ran that, it run, it worked. Files need to be changed. Um, okay, that's getting diff HL to work. Uh, so that you can also there is uh, I think it's Control C, uh, not or remove file. That's not what I wanted. Um, And roll HF, and we wanted to diff HL next next hunk. A control X V and bracket X X V no X V and bracket no further hunk sound X V and that went to that the the change that we got here. This one should be showing us as change lines, which is weird. I don't remember committing this. It's weird that it's showing these lines as changed, not as widen the buffer. I see that we had some, we had a space there. I remove some to dos Okay, what's uh, the next thing that I want to show is there is now Maggot is nice, but let's try that same the uh, 
Oh, what's that working? Show well, X V, sorry. Okay, it's gonna show us all the changes that we made. Okay, so most of these are, are the, the little changes. Uh, so I don't want to go into my git and do the, the whole staging thing. So what we can do is troll C, V, V. No, it's not that. Uh, so let's find out what it actually is. And it is VC, next, action. Control X, V, V. And what it will do is it will just, it will do the next logical thing that you want to do. So which for me is going to be to stage and commit this file. So what is it? Control X, V, V. And it pops up asking me what do, what do I want my commit message to be. So enabling diff. Uh, what was that? HL diff. I think it was HL diff. And there's all, all kinds of other commands that you can use here to see what's what's going on. But you can also see that down at the bottom it shows uh, that we're committing it in it.org. Or yeah. Hmm, that's weird. Okay. Now that committed my, you can see also here that those marks went away. So if I, right? Now we could actually use the hook. Having the, use the hook um, uh, macro, but I'll leave it like that for now. Uh, adding some white spaces, so let's just, Save it and let's just see what's going on here for that. And so, so again, XDV. That's strange. Can't kill this buffer, so I messed something up big time here. Messed something up big time there. Not sure how to get out of this, but I'm sure that I'll figure it out. Whatever I did. So that, that's pretty much how you would do that. So let's see if we can get in. Oh, I can't get anything out of here. See if I can kill it from another window. Wow. Uh, I, I've completely messed up my Emacs configuration somehow. So I'm going to have to stop this video now. Um, and if somebody can spot what I did wrong quickly, let me know. And I will be back doing some more soon.